Morning. Another day. Another real world test. Uh, plot twist today, though, uh, not doing it on a phone or a watch or anything. Gonna be doing it for the first time on a laptop. This laptop. This is the Razer Blade Stealth GTX 1650. In other words, essentially the most graphically powerful Ultrabook that you can buy. I asked you guys when I did my complete walkthrough of this if you wanted to see me try to do a real world test on it. And overwhelmingly, you guys said yes. So here we are. Not quite sure how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna do my best. So, first things first though, regardless of whether it's a laptop or not, coffee. Um, I'm in this coffee shop and I was going to start editing the video and we can see how long that this laptop lasts doing that, but when I opened it, I apparently needed to update everything, like everything. Um, and in doing so, it went from 95% and we are now at about 50%. So much for that. Um, but I'm gonna let it finish doing all that and then maybe we'll just head to the studio. I'll charge it up there and we can test how fast it charges um, and then we'll try that editing battery test there. Okay, made it to the studio. Um, if you guys aren't familiar, I'm sharing a filming studio essentially with uh, Mr. Mobile, Michael Fisher, with David Amell from Android Authority, with MJ from Gadget Match, and also with uh, Jaime from Pocket Now. <laughs> you guys know any of these people? Um, nah, maybe not. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, now real quick, I'm going to finally charge the laptop back up um, and let's just see how long that takes. Well, it looks like we started at 2.41 p.m. with 41% and we ended with 60% at 2. 58 p.m. So about 19% in 17 minutes, which actually isn't too bad. It's about maybe a percent a minute, a little more than that. So we'll say maybe like an hour and a half, the computer can go probably from zero to a hundred. Not too bad. Now though, before I have to leave shortly to go catch a flight, we'll talk about that in a minute, um, I'm gonna actually try to edit on this, unplugged, see how that works first off, and then also see how much that kills the battery, which I imagine it'll be pretty bad, but let's, let's find out. Been editing for about an hour and we went from 99 to 100% to 56%. So we lost about 46% in an hour. So we're probably realistically gonna get about two and a half, two hours of editing done. Um, again, it's 4K footage. It's, you know, normal things that I would usually be editing, the Sony footage off of this camera. And there you go. Now though, gotta go to the airport to catch a flight. I might be late, but that's okay. And I'm gonna leave uh, poor Jaime here to uh, <laughs> oh, finish, finish putting his desk together. Oh, yeah, here, you got damn. some work to do, bud. <laughs> Sorry, man, I'm, I gotta go. <laughs> when, when will I see you again? Uh, when am I seeing you again? When are you going back? I'll be back Saturday. I'll be here. You'll be here? All right. Of course. I'll see you there. If it's still not finished by then, I'll help. 99% probably. <laughs> <laughs> While we're on the plane, something interesting to note, by the way, is that planes actually have a wattage limit for their outlets. It's usually around 75 watts or so. So any computer that has a higher wattage than that just won't work, like my Blade 15, for example. The Stealth laptops normally have no problem with this since they have usually a 65 watt charger. But this model with the GTX 1650 in it, well, it has a 100 watt charger. 
So plugging into the outlet will cause the outlet to just turn itself off. Just some information for anyone who's used to using their 13 inch laptop on a flight plugged in the entire time. You can't do that with a GTX 1650 model of the Stealth. So with that said, I did charge it a bit at the gate and we're at 90%. So let's do some non-editing work, doing research, writing scripts, answering emails, etc. So basically mostly web browsing and probably more on par with what your average person uses a laptop for the majority of the time. And let's see how the battery does with that. And web browsing for about an hour, we went from 90 to 70%. So we lost 20% in an hour, meaning you'll get about five hours or so out of it doing that type of work. Okay. Made it to the hotel in LA, calling it a night. Um, real quick, for anybody that's curious as to why I'm in LA, um, tomorrow is the Tesla Cybertruck event, which hopefully a video will have gone live on that, that I will be filming tomorrow before this one does, because that's just, it's more time sensitive, it needs to go first. Anyway, but there you go, that's what's happening here. Now, as for this laptop, I like it. I like it a lot, but bottom line is, a computer of this size, you're not gonna be able to have that kind of power except for this one laptop. It's basically it. It's not without its faults though, of course. The battery life as we saw, at least with the GTX 1650 model isn't great. And while it is able to let me edit my 4K videos and worked well at it today, I have had times where I've had a decent amount of graphics, speed changes, titles, etc., And it starts to struggle with playback a bit. So it's not quite as powerful as I'd need it to be, at least without making some proxies. But for other video editors using less of those things and or 1080p footage maybe, it'd probably be fine. Hope you guys enjoyed that though. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this laptop, what you think of this video. I tried to do a real test on laptops, first time I've done it, so please go easy on me, but let me know what you think I can do to improve these. I'd like to do more in the future on laptops and other devices in general and not just phones and watches, which is what I kind of started doing in the first place. Let me know though, always appreciate hearing from you guys. If you like this video, though, please thumbs up or share it, it's greatly appreciated. Uh, also check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe. Also, I started a new uh, series here on the channel. It's I'm gonna try to make it weekly, but at the moment I've just done one pilot and I would love for you guys to go check it out and let me know what you think. It's basically an explainer series where I explain a new piece of tech, hopefully once a week. It's called Decoder. I'll leave a link right there and you can go check that out. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.